I've been dying to say this all morning, all afternoon. It wasn't supposed to be like this, was it? Well, Alistair, thanks very much for having me on the show uh, today. And, uh, of course, uh, you know, the backdrop to our discussion today are growing calls for the nationalisation of energy uh, companies in the United Kingdom. Uh, in my view, uh, this would be, I think, an absolute betrayal of, of Thatcherism. And uh, I know that, uh, of course, Liz Truss, the, the leading contender to be the next prime minister, has flatly rejected this idea, rightly so, because a return to socialism would be hugely destructive. It would actually raise prices, I think, for British uh, consumers. And this idea that the government is better able to, uh, you know, run energy and gas companies, for example, I, mean, I, I think there's no evidence to suggest that the government could do a better job than, than the private, no, private no, sector. I, I, yeah. I understand that, and, and Emma sitting next to you over there was part of a conversation which I think you were kind enough to listen to earlier with Rory McCallion and Mark Seddon as well. The point that we all made at that juncture was... Uh, Seddon took a different view, but, but I don't disagree with you ideologically. I don't think Emma does, although she said she thought that, that uh, Brown had made a constructive contribution to it. The whole point is, it's not ideologues demanding it, it's the public who are wrestling with water companies that don't give them what they want at heady prices, electricity companies that do give them what they want, but at headier and headier and headier prices. Thus, I repeat it. What went wrong? Is it a failure of regulation? Is it a failure of management of those privatised companies? What went wrong, Nile? And all sorts of factors are involved uh, here, clearly. Uh, partly, I think, a lack of strategic vision in the UK for the last few decades. I mean, you haven't seen a focus on building nuclear power stations. You've not seen a focus on fracking, for example. Uh, you've had this obsession, I think, with the green agenda, which has significantly raised costs. And this drive towards net zero, uh, I, th I think, is absolutely insane, frankly. I mean, this, this, is a, this is an approach that is hugely costly for the British public. Mm. The approach should be towards, I think, greater competition in the energy sector, cutting taxes, deregulation. Uh, this is a far better solution than handing power back over to, uh, to big government. Big government is never, never the solution. And Margaret Thatcher's uh, course in the 1980s of uh, mass-scale privatisation was very popular. It was very mm. successful. It led to hun you know, over 100 countries across the world following the British example. Economic freedom and liberty does, does work. But unfortunately, I think we've been let down uh, by, I think, some misled policies over the course of the last two or three a decade. So We're misled policies on, 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 like on the Green Levy and, 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 and stuff like that, but yeah. also a lack of vision on investment. Yeah. Final point, I guess.